Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. of life in prison. That's the sentence a judge just handed down for this Jacksonville man convicted of shooting his ex-girlfriend to death. Chad Absher was given two life sentences, one for murdering Ashley Rucker, the other for shooting and wounding her sister, Lisa Rucker. News for Jackson Reporter Marilyn Parker was in the courtroom for the sentencing. Marilyn, you heard loved ones and friends of Rucker's, of the Rucker sisters, that is, address the judge, but not Absher. That's right. Um, Absher's attorneys actually spoke on his behalf. They say it wasn't because he was nonchalant, but because he's living out his own interpretations of what happens and the fact that he disagrees with this verdict. But, you know, Ashley Rucker's family and Elisa and their loved ones, they all were able to speak with the judge and say how they are impacted heavily by his actions. They say their lives will never be the same. You know, during sentencing, this is the time for them to speak to the judge and let them know how they've been impacted by this traumatic experience. They recalled how Ashley thought she could fix her relationship with Absher. In most of the impact statements, loved ones talked about how unsettled they were with Absher's statements and his behavior during the trial. I asked Lisa after the sentencing if at any moment during trial she had any doubts about the case. Take a listen to what she said. Every time he made a face, Every time he laughed or made a remark, the judge noted it. And you could see he did it, she took a note. He did it, she took a note. And you could see that. Um, so I know she she was basing what she was doing definitely off of him and his actions. And um, like I said in my statement, um, you know, I, I had hoped for even a little sign of remorse, of just like he cared. But you sat on the stand and said that you loved someone and that you loved their children, but then you didn't show that. And like Adam said, actions speak louder than words. You can say all kinds of things, but at the end of the day, your actions prove differently. And some of the family members told us they couldn't say everything they wanted to to get out a message to Absher, but ultimately they were able to get justice. As far as moving forward, Lisa showed us a picture of her two-year-old son. She says she can only imagine the relationship and the love that her sister would show her new nephew, very similar to what she did show her first nephew. They say now it's about moving on and healing from this experience while keeping their loved one's memory alive. We're reporting live tonight at the Duval County Courthouse, Maryland Parker Channel 4. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.